bet you didn't know that Disney had a formidable R&D department where they create concepts and sometimes uh, actualized products uh, with crazy new technologies, including this new smartwatch that is able to uh, identify any object that you touch. Um, for instance, we, there was a, the prototype had a picture of someone with a watch holding a, uh, a door handle, and it said so on the watch what it was, which is really interesting. This works off of the idea of our meaty little meat bag fingers and arms are capable of conducting some amount of electricity, uh, electromagnetic signal rather, and that they would use that to distinguish between objects um, and using hypersensitive antenna that would look to the low frequencies emitted by objects through our bodies. It senses a very low range of, uh, of that. I'm really excited about this because we have on our hands right now a tricorder situation. You'll remember <laughs> in Star Trek how they have, you know, there's these little boxes and they've got little sensors and it can yeah. tell you what something is made of. So if this technology gets advanced enough, think about it, we can use all that data that comes in to find out the composition of things, what, what things mm -hmm. are made of. You could diagnose illnesses. I, I know that right now it's smartwatches that can tell when you're touching a doorknob, but I'm extrapolating from that that we can get tricorders. Pretty much. I mean, if if it works. Right now, it is a proof of concept. I do want to add, um, but I don't know if the, we have chances of ever actually having this item. But it is very cool, and it has a huge amount of potential behind it. You could use it as a, a geolocating service. You, this could be definitely used for maybe the uh, vision impaired or the the hearing impaired uh, to help identify the world around them. That's cool too. Okay, or Star Trek. There's or two Star ways to Trek. take this. Um, its sensing range is between 1 hertz and 28.8 megahertz, making it possible to detect uh, low band EM signals present in many electrical and electromagnetic mechanical objects. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's oddly specific, like door handle. It could be many things. Refrigerator in general, uh, a drawer, any, any small metal item. I, I don't super see how it would work, though I think the idea is pretty awesome. And, you know, maybe at that level even of understanding, oh, well, this is some, this is this many grams of steel. Right, exactly. Is, is great. So, so starting out, it's going to just be basic items and all that data. The more data we have just is the better. Mm -hmm. Everything, all of that is useful. But I, I'm excited to see what kind of applications all the data could mm -hmm. have in the well, future. Well, I think when we combine it with other uh, you know, let's say our smartphones or other technologies that we have available. It could be incredible. Um, audience, what would you use this for? And don't just say penis. Let us know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.